Hey friends, Lauren here, and today I am going to be reviewing the Herschel Heritage Backpack. So this is the very classic, very simple design from Herschel Supply Co. It's very trendy, uh, very in right now. So we're gonna take a look at the backpack, see what features it has, go through some pros and cons from what I can see, and then we'll talk about who I think this would be perfect for. All right, so some basic stats on the bag. Uh, if you're looking at it on amazon.com, the regular price is $59.99 US. I have seen it go down lower, as low as $40 US. So if you keep an eye out, you might get a good deal. You can find the link to that in the description below this video. Uh, there are a bunch of different color options, so you can definitely pick which one you like based on your own personal preferences, which is nice. Uh, we'll go through some of the features on the outside of the bag and then we'll dig inside. The bag itself is made out of polyester. I wasn't able to find anywhere that specifically said it was water resistant, uh, but from the reviews and stuff, I saw that it was like decently water resistant, but you're not gonna really wanna get caught in a downpour and fully trust that your stuff inside is going to stay dry. On the outside here, we have this one main pocket on the front with a zipper and it's kind of like a small size pocket. Uh, you can fit a little bit of stuff in there. There is also a key hook in there uh, where you can put your key ring to keep them safe. Up here we have a lash tag, which is what these things are called. And uh, you can put like a string through here and tie maybe your gym shoes or something like that. That's what that's for. On the bottom with this color, you can see that it has this leather, uh, I think it's faux leather from the best that I could tell. Um, on the bottom to kind of reinforce the part where you put down so that hopefully it lasts better. On the sides, there are no pockets, uh, though it might look like these might be pockets, they are not. Over here you have the Herschel logo and of course the Herschel logo on the front. Coming around to the back, uh, we have this headphone port, if you can see it there. So you can put your phone or your music player inside loop your headphones through there and then keep stuff in there dry or safe while you listen to your music. Up here we have a carry handle uh, made out of that faux leather as well, which is kind of a nice contrast. Tags, tags, straps. The straps on this bag, I actually quite like a lot. You can see on the back here, they have like this mesh but it looks very comfortable. They're nicely padded. I really like the straps on here. This was actually one of the most surprising and nice features of the bag. There's this little leather tag here, which from my best knowledge is just for design. Uh, these are the adjustments here to adjust the straps. And I really like that it comes with this little elastic. If you can see that here, so you can roll up the excess strap and then like keep it nice and neat and clean, which I think really just helps this look like a nice design bag. So let's take a peek inside the bag and we can see how much it holds, etc. So you can see there's kind of this top flap that I think helps in terms of weatherproofing. Uh, it can be a little tricky to get those zippers open with that. So it's a newish bag still, so maybe they will loosen up with time, but just so you know, now with Herschel bags, they have this kind of signature red and white striped lining on the inside, uh, which I personally like. I think it looks cool and it also makes it a bit easier to see what's inside here. If a bag just has black, it's a little bit trickier. All right, so in terms of volume with this bag, uh, the stat is 21.5 liters, which is a pretty like medium decent size. You can see I have three quite large books in here and a 15 inch laptop. And there's still a little bit of space on the side to stick something in. Don't forget you have that front pocket for more storage as well. So I'm gonna pull these books out. So that was three. This is a rather large textbook and it still fit in there quite well. Now let's take a look here. This is the kind of media pouch where you would be keeping your laptop. It is not padded at all on the front here. The back of the backpack has a little bit of padding. Um, so there's a little bit of protection, but not in the front. This is elasticized as you can see, so you can fit things in. This is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And you can see there's still quite a bit of space up above 
Um, a 15.6 inch laptop from the reviews I read was confirmed to fit in here and you might even be able to go even bigger because there seems to be still be a fair bit of space. It's just this curve that kind of prevents it, but it seems pretty good in terms of storing your laptop, your larger size laptop. And so now the inside of the bag is quite simple. You have this one big um, kind of thin pouch. And then if you can see here, there's this one other little pouch on the side and you cannot fit a water bottle. This is a 20 ounce, pretty like standard size little water bottle. And I cannot fit it in this pouch. It is not a last size very much. So it's just, it doesn't fit in there. You might be able to fit your phone in there. My phone fits in there, just an iPhone. So like maybe that's what that's for. Some pens, maybe a juice box, um, but it's not for a water bottle and there's no water bottle pockets on the outside. So if you really like carrying a water bottle, it's a little tricky with this bag. That's it for the inside, no other pockets. Uh, so it's a very, very simple design on the inside. All right, I'm gonna quickly go through some pros and cons as I can see of this bag on amazon.com right now. It has 4.5 stars with over 700 reviews. So it is a well-reviewed bag. Uh, there were some one-star reviews that said that the bottom broke or the strap broke or the little plastic thing here broke. Uh, that seems pretty consistent among many backpacks. It might break. Uh, Herschel does offer a limited lifetime warranty on their bags um, in terms of like manufacturer defects and stuff. So if it does break right away like that, uh, you could try to get in touch with the company and get a refund or a replacement. In terms of the pros, I really like the padded straps back here. Um, those are some of the nicest backpack straps on these kind of simple backpacks that I've seen. Uh, and the design is really clean. Uh, the little strap holders thing, I think that's a great touch. Um, overall, everything is nice and simple looking and just a cool looking backpack. That's a big pro. The headphone port here, I like how it matches with the bag. It's very small and discreet, so it doesn't ruin the style of the bag. And this like faux leather on the bottom here, it's really soft, it's really nice looking. Uh, I think it would help in terms of durability for the bag, so I think that's a nice touch too. In terms of cons, for me, the biggest thing with this bag is just that there aren't many pockets. Uh, inside the bag, there isn't any zipper pocket. Uh, to keep little things safe. There's no water bottle pockets on the outside, which is for me something that I really wish was on here. Uh, the media pocket that I showed you on the inside there, there's no padding, so it's not gonna keep your laptop very um, secure inside the bag. So you might wanna be thinking about a laptop case in that, in that sense. Overall, uh, the quality seems quite good. This is thick polyester is what it's made out of. Uh, it definitely seems robust, but it is overall a light backpack. I think it comes in about one and a half pounds. I did find that like really small detail here, the stitching was uneven along there, which kind of seemed a little bit sloppy and unexpected, uh, but there is some nice kind of waterproofy looking material in here too. Uh, so pro and con there. So that's kind of the summary of the pros and cons Overall, I think this is a decent backpack. Um, at full price, $60 US, I think it's maybe a little bit simple. You're not getting a ton of organization in there. It's very stylish for sure. Um, but at that full price, I don't know if it really, you know, gives you as many features as it could. It's definitely more suited for school or for the gym or to take a bit of stuff to work you're obviously not gonna be going backpacking through the mountains with this, but for students or people who prefer a backpack for their day-to-day -day, um, commuting to work, this is definitely a decent option, especially if you can snag it at one of those deal prices. So again, check the link below, check the price, maybe it's a good day for you, and uh, see which colors you like, because there are a lot of pretty cool ones. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Uh, you can leave a comment below telling me what you think of this bag and subscribe for more reviews like this. We're gonna be doing a ton of fun stuff. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day.